Sorry guys, I lived in this way. So sorry, something just came up, but you have to leave now. Sorry, sir. We can just live like that. You're the boss man of Asaba. You're the man that sits on the mountain of money. Please just let us stay. We followed you here because we know you are capable of all things. Please, let us stay back. You see, actually, ladies, I... I do not like to create a scene, okay? I'm doing all I could to be diplomatic. But you guys should leave now. We know, sir. We thought we were going to be with you all day, eh? You see, the money you gave to us is not what we want. All we want is just to stay with the boss, man. Please. Listen, today is not your lucky day. Maybe tomorrow night, but you have to go now, right? Now you guys should go now before you see the beast of me. Now get out of this place. Now go! Get out. Get out! My queen, my joy, my life. Arthur, have I denied you of anything? No, none that I ever desired, none. Why dishonor me like this? You know what this means to me, Arthur? Don't you? Why? Why? Tell me. Am I asking for too much? <laughs> My queen, I, I was drunk. You know, I, I will never hurt you on purpose. I crushed those who disrespect me. I drained life out of them. I know you, you do anything you wish, but I'm sorry. You take my love and pity for granted. No, no, that, that, that's the last thing I'll ever do. You know I won't do that. I'm, I'm sorry. Tampa justice with me. Take care that this doesn't happen again. Today is a day of grace. Take care that this doesn't happen again. I want to feed. from the evil plan of the enemy. You are the one who has brought the fall upon. What the enemy spreads to the enemy in the name of the Father, I will be with you forevermore. For in Jesus' name we have prayed. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you. Brethren, let us remember what the Bible says in Ephesians 6.12. He says, we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world. We are going to open our mouths to pray. And tell the enemies that every divination against the children of the of the of the of the of of the of of the 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 of the
and declare that today every plan of the enemy against the children of God will not stand. Come in one way, but several ways they will flee in the name of Jesus. Every plan of the enemy. I know where you're going. Where do you think I'm going? You're going to the boss man to dig your grave. What kind of a silly joke is that? It sure sounds like a joke, girl, but it's not. Obviously, his wealth has destabilized your psyche, and it's a pity that you've made up your mind to go for it. But babe, do not do it, cause it will backfire. Whatever advice you're giving is not for me. I do my things my way and I have made up my mind on what I want to do. So please save your advice. There is a way that seems right unto someone. But the end game babe, it is death. Did you hear that? It's death. Listen Betty. I pay my bills myself, so I am answerable to nobody but me. Please, please save your advice. I don't need it. Excuse me. Set. Everything is set and ready. Christian and I we've gone to St. Joseph's Paris sleep. to make sure. Sleep. Sleep. sleep is not in our zone. Yeah. Are you ever coming? <laughs> the crusade is for the dinner and not just for Zoom 2. Oh. That means we must all prepare and be ready spiritually. This is not a joke. And this crusade is particularly important to this parish because the Bible says the effective and fervent prayer of the righteous availeth much. Let us not joke. This, the times are critical. We have prayed together in unison. When we get home, please, no time to play. Let's continue to pray. Let's continue in that stride. Pray, pray, pray without ceasing. It's the work of God. It's God's word and we must not fail him. We're his soldiers here on earth. Please, please. Don't forget, okay? Thank you very much. And I hope to see you at the next prayer meeting, okay? Thank you. Exactly what I've been meaning to talk to you about. We need to go and see Sister Rebecca. Is she alright? Her son has been critically ill. Are you serious? Yes. Sister Rebecca is so down now. And you're just telling me now. Oh, you went to the mountain. I just heard it two days ago. That's why I've not come to you. To the extent that you forgot your allegiance to Queen Bozazi. How did Dr. Scondom come into your house, by the way? You ask a man who almost lost his senses to alcohol that question? I'm sure those girls brought the condoms. So, how did the Queen take it? You almost fell through my eyes. In fact, I thought he would drain me through my eyes. You were lucky. How could you joke with someone's meal? My guy, honestly, I fear. Of course, you should fear. No one dares Bozazi. 
That's not what I'm talking about. What do you fear? You know, Drake, I fear for us. I fear for you and I. I fear for all the men who are in the same shoes with us. Um, Ato, do not get at me with parables. Speak clearly. Do we really have a future with this kind of life that we're living? Sleeping with every girl that comes our ways with our condoms? Just because we want to please Queen Bozazi. Look, that is what we get the moment we signed an agreement with Queen Bozazi for her help. Look, see how successful she has made us. <laughs> is it enough? Sometimes I wonder what I was actually thinking before signing such an agreement. You know, she is spirit. She could be around. I am no more comfortable with this discussion. How are you doing? I'm fine, oh. Mm. I'm fine. I'm so happy to see you after a long time. Ah, mommy, you know how busy your son is. So busy pursuing money now, eh? To the detriment of your own mother. Eh? The same money that people will never get to see. Eh? Mommy, please, let's not go into that now, okay? Please. Uh, I didn't come for us to talk about that. I came to see you, to know if you lack anything. Do you lack anything? No. Well, I'm happy you came back. Eh? Mm. Anyway, let me not keep you standing. Let's go inside because we have a whole lot to talk. <laughs> Mama. <laughs> Mama, I know the topic you want to bring up, but I'm ready for you. What have we not done? Which hospital have we not gone to? The cleric told us that my son's case is strange. And he stands the chance of dying soon. God forbid. Please don't talk like that. Your son will not die. Obviously God has abandoned us. How can a 12 year old boy suffer like that? Hmm? Sister Melika, I don't know why you're talking and acting the way you're acting. I am shocked. <laughs> Do you not no, or have you forgotten the privileges you have as a believer? First of all, I am not even happy that you kept such information away from we, your brethren. Did you think there was nothing we could do? Even if you felt that way, have you forgotten the God whom we serve? The one that does everything for us by his power? Do you have doubts in your heart? I know God heals. But Sister Maria, I am confused. You don't need to be confused. Mark 11.24 instructs that we ask God for anything we want. Yes. Without doubts in our heart and he will do it for us. We're his children. He's on that throne to listen to us. No other person. If our earthly father can give us all we ask him for, how much more our heavenly father? What are you talking about? It's okay, everything will be alright. Maria, what have we not done? What have we it's not okay, done? It's okay. Which hospital have we not gone to? Just take us to where he is, okay? Take us to where he is. Yeah. I have tried my hands on almost everything in this country. It feels like I won't be able to realize my destiny here. Don't worry, my son. You see, 
that was exactly the same way my son felt until God finally smiled on us. Mm. Eh? Thank you very much, Mama. Thank you. Okay, now that you think that um, your destiny is not here, what is your plan? That is why I came. I have been coming for a while to see you now. That is true, my son. He has been checking on you from time to time. And that was why I called him as soon as you arrived. Please, bros. Did you call me bros? Call me the boss man. The boss man. Say it again. The boss man. Say it again. The boss man. Again. The, the boss man. <laughs> Good. The boss man. All I ask for is money. Money to help me process my papers and travel to Italy. Please, that's all I ask for. Why Italy? It is because I know people there and they have promised to help me out immediately I arrive. But money is the only limited factor here. Please help me out, the boss man. That's okay. You're an adult. You know what you want. If you say your destiny lies in Italy, all I have to do is to assist you financially. But you have to return tomorrow. Tomorrow evening, let's figure out something. Hey, thank you very much. Thank you very much, the boss man. Mama. I appreciate it. You see, as a philanthropist that I am, I've made enough money. Oh, yes. If you travel around the world, you see my investments. If you go to Asia, you go to Korea, you go to Australia, you go to US, you go to Canada, even in Egypt. Hey! I've got things over there. I don't want... If I don't help my people, my money is useless. Thank you very much. Thank you very much, the boss man. I appreciate. I so much appreciate. You see, I always tell our people that you're not what they think you are. You are not at all. What do they think I am? Hmm. They've said a lot of things. Hmm? Some say that you're a miser. Hmm? Some say that you are stingy and all that. That you've never helped anyone despite how successful you are. That's all they say. Hey! People of Obodo who are their mouths. Eh? Mama, don't eh? mind them at all. Don't mind them. Mama, go. People always talk. But we all know the truth. By the time the bros. Boss... I'm going to say boss man. Boss man. Good. Boss man. By the time you send me out from, you send me out from this country. They, they are going to eat their own I will surely send you out. You see, I do greater things as a philanthropist. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Tell me. For straight. For straight. Thank you. Thank you. All right. My friend, get up! Mm. Mm. Sorry, Victor. Our only weapon as Christians is prayer. Mm? And we must never ever take it for granted. Hmm? I believe in God and He assures me daily that He will never fail us. He has never failed. I will not even start to fail from today. Okay? Have no fear or doubt in your heart. Your son will leave. You will leave and your husband will leave as well. Yes. Okay? My son shall leave in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. That's the spirit. That is the spirit. You must never ever give the devil the opportunity to make a caricature of your faith in God. Okay? The doctors have said their own. But God, the one we serve, who owes that soul is yet to speak. And when he speaks, it shall be in our favor. Amen. Okay? I will always come around to see him. I will also book masses for him. Hmm? And let us watch what God will do. Okay? Thank you so much, Sister Maria. Your word really gave me hope. <laughs> We're sisters. We encourage one another. But mind you, it is not my word. It is God's word. Hmm? God's word is life. And whenever it is spoken, it is rema. Hmm? And when he speaks, when he speaks the rema word, life is given or restored. Okay? Never ever have any doubt in your heart from today. We serve a living God, the one that answered by fire. <laughs> All right? Okay. Let us go. We have other places to go to. Yeah. Um, my regards to your husband when he comes. I will. <laughs> Thank you.
Take care. Mama, I have advised you to leave uncle and the land. Leave them. Eh? Even the one that belongs to your father. Mama, who are you dragging those lands for? You know I don't have needs for them. Bao, by the way, I don't, I don't understand this your movement. Don't tell me you're going back to us already. Mama, actually, i supposed to have a meeting by 2 o'clock in Asaba. I'm running down now. It's an emergency, actually. Something came up. My Indian counterparts just flew into town, so I have to see them. Hmm. Uh, did you not ask Hanande to come and see you and give me? Yeah, I, I did, but you know something just came up. It's an emergency, so I'll, I'll see him when I come back. I'll see him. This is not right. You know I heard this. Eh? You knew you were leaving this morning, yet you asked the poor boy to come and meet you in the evening. Mama, Mama, Mama it's an emergency. It's an emergency. What do you call an accident? Oh, emergency. It's Let me go good. and see my my my, my counterpart. Oh, it's not good, though. Mama, I'll call you. I'll, I'll, call you. Mama. I'll, I'll call you on the phone. Mama. I'll call you. thing I try to avoid. Click operations. Ever since I came into this Asabato housing, I have never, never been in click of hustling babes. Girl, why are you convincing me into it? Why? My girl, whatever way you may decide to look at it, there is no way, absolutely no way you will survive in this Asaba without click. No one knows it all. It's bad enough that Millicent has refused to listen to me. Do not follow her examples. <laughs> Wait a minute, girl. I want to get something here. What are you actually planning to prove? That you have become our leader or what? I'm not trying to prove anything here, Hereta. There's something weird with that character called Bossman. I took out time to monitor him at night that we slept in his house. I noticed some things. Something like what? Forget the fact that unemployment and hardship have forced us all into this game of Hawking says. Girl, you know my background. Mm. Your background? Uh-huh. Your background of being the daughter of a prophet of a white garment church? Oh, what background are you talking about? I have a part of my father in me and I can confirm it to you that there's a spirit living in that house that we slept. Here she comes again. Just listen to yourself. You always say things that can scare someone. Why are you like this? For the love of God, Hereta, I am not trying to scare you. He is housing a spirit in that house. And judging from the way he dismisses us, he knows about it. It's bad enough that Millicent has sworn to make him her permanent boyfriend. Do not follow her bad example. Because you never can tell when you come face to face with an evil spirit. This is one thing I don't like about you, Becky. Just listen to yourself. You are a killjoy. I am not a killjoy, Hereta. I have been in this game long enough. I have come face to face with death so many times. I just survived by an act of God. Many guests won't be that lucky. You know how long I've waited for this day to come. Really? Yeah, you know you've always played hard to get. I like taking my time. I like being into my men before getting intimate. Wow. But that sounds ancient. <laughs> well, I'm old school. You have a problem with that? No, no, no. I don't have a problem with that. You know, most girls will jump at the opportunity. You know how sexy your man is. <laughs> don't make me shy. Mm, don't worry. You don't have to be shy. 
Now that I've succeeded in making my angel fall in love with me, can we sell it? Of course. That's why I'm in bed with you. Child, <laughs> <laughs> you Oh, God. I hope you are. Hey. You see, something must happen today. I made up my mind before coming. But I want you to use this. I please save, you know. <laughs> I'm safe. I'm, I'm safe. I, I love playing safe too, and I'm safe. I'm not saying that you're not safe. I just want you to use this. Is there a problem? No, no, no. There's no problem. It's just that I, I don't like using condoms. You need to trust me, baby. I am safe. I am not wired like every other man. I'm totally different. Come on, Ethel. Seriously. You want to make love to me without a condom? It's, 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 not, like it, it's not like it's what I'm used to or that's the way I do. But because I love you. That's what I want to do without a condom. I love you so much. Whatever I have belongs to you. My cars. My money. The houses. What is wrong with you? Wait. What do you take me for? A whore? Wait. You want to entice me with money so you can sleep with me without a condom? Eh? No. Why are you saying that? What am I saying? It's, listen, let me even tell you. Responsible ladies don't even like condom. It's only whores that loves condom. They carry it about. I see you as a responsible girl. That's why I love you. Is it that with this or nothing? That's what I want us to do. Wait, wait, baby. You mean you walked out on Otho? Yes. You mean you walked out on Otho, boss man? Hey. Yes, and I don't regret it. Babe. Hey. This girl is a mugo. Becky, you know you're a very big fool, don't you? The thing is, I don't even know how I ended up with a fool like you as a friend. What is wrong with you two? What have I done? Why are you calling me names? You have done everything wrong, Becky. Everything. Do you know what you've done? You just walked out on a money bag. Big one. Hey. Kush. Becky. Kush. Becky, first, it took you ages before you said yes to him. Then, you went to his house and came back with this useless information of yours. Wait, did any of you hear when I said he insisted on making love to me without protection? Uh huh. And so? And so what if he wanted to have you raw, Becky? If I were you, eh? I will open my mouth, you will pour it inside, and I will lick it. Yes, girl. Is he going to do it for free, Becky? <laughs> well, some people can miss their opportunities. Hey! Come on, girls. Everything is not about money. That guy could have some deadly diseases. You are wrong there, Becky. Money is everything. And even if, only if it has any disease, you have more than enough money to take care of yourself. Yes. You know what? I feel sorry for both of you. You know Otto's house. You know where he lives. You know where to get him. So both of you should go and make love to him. As for me, Becky, I'm so sorry, Excuse me. This girl is a bitch. I don't even know how I ended hey. up with this girl at night. Hey! Until you come back and borrow money. Oh, God. Hey, God. Can you imagine? <laughs> What's come over modern girls? Why have they thrown caution into the winds? A lady is so free to sleep with the strange man without protection simply because he has offered to pay good money. Are these the women that will be presented as mothers tomorrow? What is wrong with women of nowadays? Oh girl, give me the gist, give me the gist. You don't see your cheap nothing doll at all. Mm -hmm. 
especially not at this time when I need money like waiting. Really? Yeah. My fiancé needs money in his business. And my parents, they will always want me to drop something. And even this house, my rent is due, girl. So come on, babe. Just give me the gist, the other gist. Ah. Well, nothing much. You know I've always hanged out with him and Becky at Jasmine Club. Yeah. You remember? So, I went there and I met with him. Just like that? Mm -hmm. What's the plan? Babe, it's a sick that man likes women a lot. Do you know he didn't even waste time to fall for my tricks? And you know what? I even did it to him right there. Did what? I sat on his lap as if nothing was happening, but he was right deep in there. Oh, oh my goodness! Uh huh. You mean you took him in the open? Uh huh. Are you this wild? Call it whatever you like. <laughs> a girl has to do what a girl has to do to keep the engine running. So, what's next? Well, let's say I'm partially his girl for now. And this tells it all. Tells it all. He just gave me this for the big thing. I did to him. Said I should go shopping. Babe, yeah. this is just grand. Uh -huh. You mean he had this kind of money right there? No, no, no. He actually took me to his car and gave me this. From the bag of it in his trunk. Oh, no, 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 no. You know what your girl can do. In <laughs> fact, it's just that now. For you. All this for me. Uh huh. Go get yourself something to celebrate your girlfriend's new <laughs> bag. <laughs> oh my god! I am going it. <laughs> yeah, that's <laughs> <laughs> This is good, right? I like it. Uh huh. For the past two days, you have been saying letter, letter, letter. Yeah? As you can see, I'm, I'm, I'm very sleepy. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. let's, let's discuss this before you leave. No. My son, if you like, let your eyes fall out of the sockets. I will talk to you. That's why I came to you for this place. Okay, well. Go ahead and listen. But I'm young, if I fall asleep, I sleep on you. Come on. What is happening to you? No one. I know that your father and I did not bring you all this way. The enemy is not looking. Mama, how would that be a good song? I am talking about your stinginess. Why have you suddenly found it difficult to give? We taught you how to give, my son. Huh? Yeah. If we must talk about this, let's be sincere. Not done that way. Mama, 
In this world of ours, people should learn to stand on their feet. Hey! I don't know. Do come for my sake. Have a change of heart. Do come on. There are one things I am the one that stops you from giving. They have even branded me a wish. Bad in the village. People Mama, is that why you're bothered? Oh, let me tell you, I don't have work, I don't work right now, as long as you. you may not understand. You see, whether you do good or you do bad, people will call you bad things. They will call you a, 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 a stingy man, they will call you a witch, they will even call you a wizard. You are not supposed to listen to that. It's even better you don't give. So that they call you a stingy man, you know that, yes, you are stingy. Instead of giving to them and they will see end up calling you a stingy man or a witch. Or oh, people. I so going back to the village. Try as hard as possible to close your ears to whatever they are saying. of having money that I do not spend in assisting the people in need. The only ones I am to spend on are girls. Girls that I must penetrate without protections so as to plant her evil seed in them and get them destroyed gradually. It's becoming harder for me because my mom is getting disturbed. What kind of life have I signed for myself? We go Arthur. This is bondage. This is what you will do forever. We go Arthur. We go fast. Why do I sense that my baby is not happy? My mother. My mother is so worried. She's so worried. My refusal to assist people financially. She's worried about it. Your mother? Yeah. Who is your mother? Where was she when I met you? You must not think on how to please anyone else except me. Are we clear on that? Yes. The only ones that get to benefit from my wealth are those that will be of benefit to me. Your mother should count herself lucky because I let you take care of her. Do I get to feed tonight? Leave this be. You mean you got all this because you claim you're unsafe? Oh yeah? Otto likes to have me raw and he can't think otherwise about it. So I had to play smart by using my head. But it's not like he has not been giving you money. Have you forgotten? Nathan has a building project he's yet to complete before our traditional marriage. And he doesn't have money. So this lady here knows how to get the money. You lucky. You have a mogul of a billionaire that is ready to ravish his wealth on you. And on the other hand, you're making plans for your traditional marriage with one fine handsome bubble 
that is living an average life. No, 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 Daisy, don't say that. My Nathan is a comfortable guy. <laughs> Just that he makes his money from a legitimate business. And like Otto, we don't even know what he does, yet he has enough money to travel. And this chick here, I am ready to play the game until there is no money for me to take. Hmm. Uh huh. <laughs> I envy you. I envy you. I, I wish I can be in your shoes. Come on, we are friends for. I will always share with you. <laughs> oh my God! Got the money gone. Damn! <laughs> This is money. Check oh. out this money. Oh, damn it. Shit. He got so much money, dear Bube. Jehovah, my mama. He got so much money, dear Bube. Oh, Kaka, oh, my mama. He got so much money, dear Bube. Jehovah, my mama. He got so much money, dear Bube. Jehovah, my mama. He got so much money, dear Bube. Jehovah, my mama. He got so much money, dear Bube. Jehovah, my mama. Jesus. Joshua! Joshua! Do not go any closer if you don't want to die in this middle of nowhere. Then you must go back to wherever you are coming from. Who are you? And in whose name do you speak? He is already mine. Why do you disturb my peace? Why have you come here? That is a lie. This child is a child of God. He is a partaker of the divine nature. Who are you? The food that belongs to the master cannot be given to the slaves. Who gave you the permission to torment and possess this body? Right from the days of Job, I move around the earth possessing whatever that pleases me. I need no permission to take what I desire. It is a lie. You speak a lie. This child is a child of God. He has been bought by the precious blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. Oh, stop that nonsense. Who the hell are you? Barge into my territory and lay claims to enter. My name is Maria. I have been sent by the Most High God to stand in the gap for this child of God. Stop Who are you? That Who do you think here. you are? In the name of Jesus, Stop I come against you. Father, here. by the power and the blood of Jesus, I come against every spirit and every stronghold holding Joshua captive in the name of Jesus. Father, you have declared and said in your word that we are partakers of the divine nature. And the divine nature knows no illness. So every demon, every hand, evil claw of the enemy possessing him, Father, we uproot their powers in the name of Jesus. I cast you out of this body. I cast you out of this body. In the name of Jesus, I've prayed. Amen. 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 Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. Heavenly Father, my Lord and my King, I come before you because you're all I have. I come before you because you're my Lord and personal Savior. I come before you because you're the Lord that answered by fire. I come before you because you're the only one that never disappoints me. You have never disappointed me and you will not disappoint me. Father, oh Lord God, I lift Joshua into your hands, oh Lord God, because anything in your hands is safe. I lift him, O oh Lord God, because I stand in the gap to declare healing for him. I declare that he is healed today in the name of Jesus. I cover him in the blood of Jesus. I soak him in the blood of Jesus. I decree that from today, healing he will eat. Healing is his bread because you have said healing is your children's 
bread and as a partaker of the divine nature he will succeed he will come out strong he will come out healthy because the divine nature knows no illness i soak him in the blood of jesus i decree today joshua you are healed in the name of jesus you are healed in the name of jesus you will not die you will not die you will not die you will live to declare the goodness of the lord in the land of the living by the stripes of Jesus, you are healed. By the sacred heart of Jesus, you are healed. I hide you behind the cross of Calvary. You are healed. No hand of the enemy will see you. No evil plan of the enemy shall come nigh you. You will fulfill destiny. You will live long. You will live above your peers. You will decree and declare in the land of the living that indeed. Come on. I didn't tell you about this. Um, vision to scare you on the contrary it only signifies that your son has been delivered in the spirit are you saying that it was actually the demon that got into my son i don't understand that demon i saw signified the devil the enemy of the children of god hmm? he possessed him and tormented him to the glory of God, I have the ability to see visions and interpret them. Mm -hmm. So what does this one mean? Honey, why do I sense sarcasm in your voice? <laughs> Sister Rebecca, just relax. Let him be. He's free to ask questions. He needs to know. Brother Caleb, see. Most of the diseases and sicknesses people suffer from, are inflicted on them by the devil that is why you hear some doctors say we have tried all our best we've run tests we've done this we've scanned we've done this and that and the other but we cannot find any solution any cure to this disease but that is not what we're here to talk about the most important thing is that your son has been delivered amen amen um christ alone bore our sicknesses our diseases the bible says that he took our sicknesses the chastisement of our peace was put upon him on the cross of calvary and by his stripes we are healed so your son has been bought by the blood of jesus no disease can claim his life no sickness can take him he will live to fulfill destiny hmm? just relax god is in control okay um let us pray Let me pray for him before I take my leave. <speaking in Spanish> In the mighty name of Jesus. So you're telling me that your, your son is not well now? What are we talking about? My son is the healthiest person in my house right now. In fact, he has been playing around the house. Are you serious? That's a miracle. My brother, I really don't know how to talk about this. The Thanksgiving party. We do it all. Here's the invitation. That's great. It's okay. It's alright. Oh, nice job. Uh, huh. I'll be there. I will certainly be there. Yes. I'll be there. Okay. It's okay. Wow. This is Maria. The same one God used in delivering my son. I told you everything about her. Why are you showing me a picture? I took this picture when I came for your Thanksgiving service. You know, when I saw her, something spoke to me. And since then, I've remained restless. I don't understand. You have been restless because of Maria. How is yeah. that possible? You see, K 
Caleb, you're not just my friend, but a brother. I confide in you. I want that, babe. Babe, come on, stop that madness. Maria is not a babe in the context you are using. She is a woman of God that God has been using in performing miracles. So there is no way she can listen to someone like you than don't even go to church. Yeah, I may not be a church goer or know all the scriptures in the Bible, but I also know that somewhere in the Bible, God says that love you know, is superior to all things. And he that does not love is not of God. Are you really telling me you are in love with Maria? Ah, don't even say that. Because it's very ridiculous. You know me. You know, you know me with women. They are my beck and call. Oh, that's exactly my point. So, you don't have to think about her. Because he's too spiritual for you. I am highly spiritual too. Listen, Caleb, I know you can do it. I know you can do it. I'll pay you anything you want. serious? I have never been more serious than this. You know what, Caleb? When a woman makes me feel the way I feel right now, I go after her with anything and everything that I have. Arthur, why are you worried? I am here with you and for you. You are my love, my beloved. I have no heart to deny you of anything. Why do you worry? Talk to me. I have a lot going on in my head. Mention them. Are there contracts that you want to win? Property? Do you need more money? You want me to convince somebody about anything? Do you want to go into politics and win elections? Ask me of anything, my love, and consider it done. There is this girl I, I want to get. But I don't know how to go about it. Really? You never had problems getting any of them. So tell me, who is this one that is proving difficult for my apostle? I don't even know why I mentioned this to you. Don't worry, I'll be fine. I can handle it. It might take me time, but I'll handle it. Arthur, you have all it takes to get any woman into your bed. So do not ever underestimate yourself. The more you pour your semen into the basilica, the more I shall continue to bless you. Always remember, I need no shrines, I need no temples, all I need is basilicas. You know, this person I'm talking about, she is unique, outstanding. 
In fact, whatever it is that you call Basilica, that's exactly what she is. Then get her. Get her for us. Why are you so ill-locked, Daisy? All your life, you have always been playing backup for your friends. So get the big fish while you sing their praise. Okay, look at Bella. Bella is not more beautiful than me. No, she's not. Now, she not only has a legible bachelor as a fiancé, but also has that money bag as a side guy. What do I do? Tell her fiancé? Hmm, that's one. He might not even care. I am sure that he would support her to sleep with all the men in this town, provided that she brings him money. How do I get on the train? How do I move from being a beggar to being the one that controls money? Men like Arthur are not men in this town. Hello. Um, I am at home presently and I'll be delighted to see you today. Please don't see me. You know, once you sound this way, I know for sure that there's a problem. I will round off what I'm doing and call you back, okay? I'll be waiting. Have you gone out of your mind? Why? Um, look, you obviously can't read that part. You don't need to be told. <laughs> I can. I can do whatever I want to do. At least that's one of the privileges I should be enjoying for serving Queen Bozazi. This is not about the Queen, but about the girl in question. Both of you are worn apart. Did you hear the story of how she battled with a demon in her vision? <laughs> Ooh, I'm shivering. <laughs> Do I look like a demon to you? Listen, I want that girl and I will have her, period. Give me one reason why you want her. Maybe because she's beautiful. The beauty you cannot touch. Look, that girl is a staunch religious fanatic. You can't do anything with her. Stop dreaming. Are you implying that um, she, might want, she might want to convert me? First, she might try. Secondly, she might not like the other girls and you cannot have kind of knowledge of her. So stop dreaming. That girl does not look like someone that will open her legs. I think that's my problem. I have other girls I can do that with. This one, I feel something special for her. I just love being around her. Look, Ado, we cannot be with any girl we cannot sleep with. Not just sleep with, but sleep raw with. That is the rule. Stop reading the rules to me, Drake, as if I don't know them like the back of my hands. Then why dreaming the impossible? <sighs> Queen Bozazi loves me, right? So I can make her bend the rules for me. Well, I wish you good luck with that. Thank you. Becky, please do this for me and I will forever be grateful to you. Why are you sounding so desperate? What has come over you? Becky, you know my financial status. This is one opportunity that can change my whole life. Wonders shall never cease to happen. Daisy, this is pure prostitution now. 
Eh? You walk. You earn a living. Huh? Why can't you just manage yourself? Must you sell yourself to... Eh, to... eh, eh, eh! Hold it there. Stop it. It's enough. What is it? Eh? Oh, you know you to give me phone number? You cannot. <laughs> oh, are you still interested in him? If yes, then explain to me and I will understand. I called it off with Otto. And there is no going back. No going back. So what are you being stingy for? What you're asking for is not right. That is it. Preacher, I don't blame you. I blame myself. I should have done it the way Bella did. Wait. Bella, what did she do? What are you saying? Are you giving me the contact or not? Well, you already know what the answer is. Since you know Bella's so called me, I suggest you follow the same. Really? for money. Eh? <sighs> mm. I've always dreamt of this day. Really? Wow. I thought you have eyes just for my friends. I go for whatever I want, baby. But I respect Becky. What about Bella? Um, Bella is a good girl. She gave me what I wanted, just the way I wanted. You know, I didn't want to upset her by coming to you. It will seem as if I'm ungrateful. Come on, boss man. Bella is as good as being married. You should embrace yourself with people like me. Of course. <laughs> <laughs> but you know what? Even if Bella is married, her body still belongs to me. Nathan is just a small boy. He can't handle Bella. So he knows. This man is weird. This is why I love him more now. He knows that Bella has someone. He even knows his name. Still, he is not bothered. He is still giving her money as if he is the only one in her life. Oh, I love this man. Let me take my own share and hopefully this is going to be the beginning for me. I will get way bigger than Bella. <laughs> You're blushing. <laughs> <laughs> but <clears throat> you, you know how I, I like it. How do you like it? I like it, nigga. I don't matter, nigga. You know, I, 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 I love to experience this natural taste. I just don't like this plastic you people call condom. I don't like it. In this age? How could you say a thing like this? Money answered all questions. That is the portion of the Bible that I love so much. Why don't you smile and give the boss man what he wants while you watch the boss man take you to cloud nine with cash? <laughs> I've never done this before. That's why I love you. I love you because you've never done Do you know that I've never done it like this before? You know, it's, it's the attraction, the love. <laughs> you see, I, I'm sure that two million, two million will do something for you to, to change your life. I don't mean two million, Seth. I mean two million naira, baby. <laughs>
Maria's friend. I'm sure you're the mother. Yes, Maria is my daughter. I see. Is she in? Not at the moment. But if Maria is your friend, you should know that she will go to the morning mass every day. After the mass, she goes to the chapel to pray, from the chapel to the church to clean the church. Sometimes she goes for sick calls before coming home. So she might not even come too early today. Arthur, he said he's your friend. Yes. Arthur. Oh, you. I'm, I met you at Mr. Caleb's Thanksgiving, right? Yes. Oh, I see. Good morning. How are you? I'm very well. You're welcome. Yes. Ah. How did you find there? Is everything alright? Is, is there something yeah. wrong? Take your case inside before you start asking questions. Yes. I am trying to understand what you want from me. Nothing. I just needed to be looking into your face as I tell you how wicked you are. I am now wicked because I refuse to facilitate your desire to be very stupid. You know one thing, let me tell you something, Becky. One day shall come in future when you would desperately need something from me. And I will remind you of how wicked you were to me. Clear conscience, they say. Fear is no accusation. I've done you no wrong. So your threat means nothing to me. Mama, there's nothing wrong with me. I don't know that man. I didn't tell him I needed a car. I haven't done anything for him. He didn't contract me for any job. I, I don't, I don't, I don't want. Didn't you hear what he said? He said it's to make your ministerial job easier. Are you deaf? I can't remember complaining to anyone that I needed a car to help me as a minister of God. I did not complain to anyone. Maria. I always knew that God will reward you for your endless services to him one day. That's why I never bothered you the way you decided to live your life. But don't you think that this is God's way of compensating you for your dedication to him? 
Mama, I don't know that man. I don't know him. I am surprised at you. Are you not the one that taught me as a child not to accept gifts from strangers? Maria, this man knows what you do. He knows your house. He even knows me, your mother. Even the Bible says that the laborer deserves his wage. Not this wage, Mama. Not this wage. Rebecca, I wanted to come to your house to talk about this. But since we're here and the meeting is about to start, let's just quickly talk about it before it starts. I hope all is well. Yes, all is well. It's about your husband's friend, Mr. Arthur, the one I met at your house during the Thanksgiving. Yes, Arthur. Uh -huh. What do you know about him? Uh, like, what does he do for a living? Arthur is my husband's childhood friend. They come from the same town. Okay. As per what he does, my husband said he's into so many businesses like Oil and gas, importation, construction. What? Why are you asking? That explains why he can just wake up and buy a car for a stranger. What car? <sighs> and who did he buy a car for? Rebecca, we have a lot to talk about. Let's go for the meeting first. Okay? <laughs> Thank you for stopping by. I really appreciate it. As you thank you for welcoming me. Honestly, I do hope that someday you will return this visit. Oh, sure. I will, on a very good day. I love good days. <sighs> okay, um, one second. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just, it's just that I haven't perfected my driving skills. It's been a while I drove. I can help you. Come on, let me teach you how to drive. No, that won't be necessary. That's just. Don't worry. Um, here, this is a special invite to a crusade. Hmm? It promises to be power packed, miracles, breakthroughs. You name it. It's an experience you don't want to miss. Trust me. Hmm. Sister Maria, host speaker. Yes, you should see how to do the work of God. Of course. I'm sure that will be terrific. Do tell my mother that I called. Oh, sure. She would hear. I'm sure she'll be very glad and excited. Yeah, I... I, I was thinking, you know, I don't know... Will I be asking for too much if, if, if I ask for a hug, you know, from that person that means the world to me? Um, I remember you saying you have an appointment at the customs. I think you should run along and stop talking and asking for things. <laughs> All right, thank you very much. You're welcome. Let me see. It's all right. Thank you. I'll be expecting you. It's all right. I'll, I'll come. Just make sure you come. I will. All right. All right, All right. All right. All right. I will. My queen, my princess, my life. Thank you. Arthur, what have you been doing with your time lately? My queen, I've been chasing money and women. Isn't that what you taught me to do? <laughs> You know you can't have her, don't you? <clears throat> my, my queen. I have started this one on a very good note. And I have all it takes to, to make a great impact. Because you know no woman, no woman can resist me. Hmm. 
You always forget, my baby boy, that it is not about you, but me. Me, Bozazi, that you go after those women for. You even went as far as buying her gifts. Are you high? My queen. Have you lost it? My, my queen, I, I, I feel something strong for this one. She's not like any other girl. What I feel for her, I think it's love and I can't take my heart away from her. <laughs> there must be another definition for what you feel for her because you know it can never be love. You cannot love another woman. Remember, you cannot associate with any woman that I, Bozazi, cannot benefit from. Where do I stand in this? Tell me, where, where do I stand? It's always what you benefit from them, or what they will do for you, or what you want to do with them. Why has it always been so year after year? Wealth, favor, progress. That's where you come in. Tell me. Have I failed to shower you with those? She may not agree to give you what you want from her. And we don't have to waste our precious time on such women. I have limited time to drop my jewels which I already deposited in your semen into their basilicas. As many basilicas. Lots of deposit into lots of basilicas will assist me achieve my destiny and you offer you are my lead apostle do not play to gallery or i will chop off your head i still don't believe that because he never mentioned it to me he met maria through you yes but I only told him the obvious about her. Like where she worship, that's all. He didn't tell me that he had started visiting Maria at all. Non intent to buy a car. This man. I just hope that he's serious. Because obviously Maria is not his kind of woman. Hmm. That's exactly what I'm thinking. I don't know what Atos is in a church girl. Maria is not his type of girl. Honey, you better warn him. He's your friend. Because Maria is too clean for this wayward kind of life. Please do. I don't know why he has not married all this while. He's your friend. Jane, how can that be? How can Mike just wake up and, 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 and throw you out of the house because of what a fake prophet said? He said our childlessness is because of a man I dated in the past. Anybody that sleeps with a man will not be able to conceive. Holy Mary. What? How can that be? How? I don't know, Maria. I don't know. As I am right now, I'm not sure. I will be able to have a child of my own. God forbid! Not while Jesus is still on the throne. It's not possible. See, you see why I want people to stop jumping from one fake pastor to the other? Eh? Oh, you, Jane, you of all people, with all your exposure, you've been exposed to all the lead sacraments in the church. You shouldn't have fallen victim, not you. Maria, Maria is not fake. He's well known in Port Harcourt. Mm. He's a real prophet. <laughs> He's not fake. He's well known. And what has he cost you? What has the real fake pastor cost you? Your marriage. Eh? <sighs> oh my too. This isn't the way to go about it. I don't think so. Both of you are a team. Eh? 
and a team that works together wins. He can't just kick you out like that. Even if the fault is yours, there's still a way out. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't even know where to go to from here. I don't know. <laughs> it's okay. Jane, it is okay. Listen to me, it's alright. Stop crying. You're in my house now. Just relax, okay? Feel at home. Then we'll find a way to sort things out between you and Mike and find the lasting solution to the problem. Remember, Jesus is the same yesterday, today and forever. He never changes. He's the unchangeable changer. He will fix this one for us. Eh? Everything else will change, but he will not change. He's our only solution. Just relax, okay? Okay? You are aware. You are aware that your wife has been in the house for one month. You did not call to check on her, let alone call me to ask how far. Oh, she's with her cousin and her auntie. Why should I bother myself? She should be with her husband. Michael, Jane told me all that happened. That's not enough reason to send her out of the house. Oh, Maria, I didn't send her out of the house. I told her to go and get the man that has been the cause of our childlessness. She alone knows the man. Michael, I respect you a lot. I don't see how you just stoop so low as to believe in all those prophecies that come out of the mouth of all these fake prophets lying oh, around town. Maria, listen. I'm sorry to disappoint you. I believe them. You do? Yes. And I've told Jen she should go and look for that man so that the man won't do whatever thing he has done to her. And if she doesn't find that man, she should not come back to my house. Period. Wow. Welcome to my humble abode. Wow. You call this humble abode. Humble. Whiskey, I have red wine, I have champagne. I also ordered for fresh palm wine. Mm. I'm prepared. Thank you, but I don't want any of those. I don't want your wine, your rum, and all you have listed. I want us to talk. For us to talk? Yes. You know, a man's heart skips when the lady says, I want us to talk. Go ahead, I'm listening. Arthur, we've known ourselves for roughly two months now and in those two months you've been very, very nice, extremely nice, I must say. So much so that it has become so uncomfortable for me because of all the things you've done for me. And it makes me wonder that surely there must be more to it than meets the eye. So I want to know, what do you want from me? You see, as an influential man that I am, I have made money and women at my beck and call. No, no, don't get me wrong. Don't misunderstand me, okay? What I'm trying to say is you should, you know, take your mind of all negative thoughts. You see, <clears throat> I know what and who you are before I came to you. And I also know that you're not like the regular girls. What do you want? Your friendship. You see, <laughs> you know, I, I've grown to like you a lot and being around you makes me happy. You see, I want us to be and remain friends. And I promise you, you have no reason to regret it. Okay. Now that I've explained myself, can we now drink to it? Water. Water. 
I'll do what I do. My queen, I love her. It took me two months to figure that out. You cannot love her, Arthur. You know that. You cannot love another woman. My queen, but I'm allowed to love just one human. Although I'm not allowed to sleep or marry that person, but I can love her. I know I can never have her, but I can care and love her. Never. You knew all the rules and you agreed to them before we unleashed the wealth on you. We are already deep into the game. You cannot change the rules of the game in the middle of the game. My queen, where is the love that you said you have for me? Don't forget I'm human with feelings and emotions. Spare me that sentiment. Must you have her? She is not good for us. Our holy mother in the ocean, into which all basilicas shall sink. Oh my son, our holy mother, the queen of Buzazi, the very origin of Scarlet that triggered the term of Scarlet Women, the powerful lady that forces all lords of Basilicas to turn. You shall forever remain our mother. They are called the princesses of Bozazi. You know them, don't you? They are my pride. Men like you gave them to me. Men that I do not love have the way I love you, Arthur. My queen, but we're on the process of, of me giving you a child. We're working towards it. How? Like this? With all these distractions that you surrender yourself with? How can the ritual take place? My queen, I, I, I love her. I love her. Please, let, let her be around me. I, I, I promise you that I'm going to complete every necessary arrangement towards me giving you a child. You cannot be with her the way she is. She is too dangerous to be around you. Have you no sense at all, Arthur? She is an enemy. Fine. If you insist. If that's the only price I have to pay for me to have a child by you, then I have to make her what we can work with. Whatever that made the queen to visit me when she was not supposed to must be very serious. She was dead worried. What did she say? Obviously about you and the new girl you've sworn to be with. Listen. I love the queen so much. I can't even think of her to now, but you know, I do not know why she's refused to let me have this one girl that has made me see no other girl in this town. What were you thinking getting involved with such a religious fanatic? That girl is not good for you. She will destroy you and all you have labored for. And that is what the queen is trying to stop you from. At all. Let's say I wasn't thinking with my head, but with my heart. Oh. Excuse me. Hello, dear. Good morning, Arthur. Good morning, Princess. How are you? I'm fine. You flicked out on the crusade yesterday. Oh, the crusade! I forgot. I totally forgot. I'm, I'm really so sorry. I'm, I'm so sorry. That's why I'm calling you. Today is another day. Hope to see you there today. Okay, okay, okay. All right. I, I'll, I'll try and make it up today, okay? I'll see you much later. I'll do all I can to be there. All right. Bye. Crusade? 
Seriously? Seriously, excuse me. Maria, please let's leave here. How did we even get to this deserted wilderness? Eh? Christy, no! That is a coffin. Somebody might be inside. He or she might need our help. Let's go and help the person. Maria, please, I'm leaving. Does this place look like where human beings are? How did he get here? Otto, what are you doing here? Let's stop him, Otto. What are you doing? Let's go and help him. Let's go where? Let's go. No, Otto. Otto. Otto, stop. You can call me the boss man. Oh, the boss man. Call me the boss man. The boss man. Sir! Don't say it again. The boss man! Sir! 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 Uh, uh, Do you know what you've just done? Oh, oh, you just, you just destroyed the cleansing process! Sir. Shut up! Ah! Oh, oh, you, oh, you, oh, you cannot follow us. Wait, please let me go with them. Please. Dennis, are you alright?